lung cancer is the number one cause of death from cancer. It takes more lives than breast, prostate, and colon cancer combined, but it also receives the least amount of funding of all cancers. That's right. Today, runners and walkers will help change that at the Save Your Breath Run and Walk. Our News 8's Morgan Sturt been live from Augusta with more on this great cause. Hi there, Morgan. Good morning, Norm and Katie. Yes, it's such a great cause. We're here at the Kennebec Valley YMCA where the event is going to start. The doors are open right now. I mean, the really. Open. <laughs> they can come on down. Uh, registration was supposed to start at 8, but they can come in now and, and walk around. We've got the Children's Discovery Museum setting up for the children's activities. We've got uh, Bob Stillwell from the state of Maine. He's going to be uh, having a booth for Radon. And Brenda Colfer, she's a shocker dance uh, facilitator. Claire Guy is a Foot reflexologist, and she'll come down. She come on down and get a mini foot massage. Ooh, that sounds fun. I might have to do that before I head back. <laughs> but Deb, you founded this organization for a really good reason, and today is to spread awareness about lung cancer research. Correct. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and it's all about spreading the awareness of lung cancer, the number one cause of death from cancer in the United States. More needs to be done to raise awareness. More needs to be done to provide research dollars. Uh, we only receive 5% of federal cancer dollars, and we're about 29% uh, of all, lung can all cancer deaths. So um, the odds are really low for us. So my foundation raises money for research, education, and community support. And this year, the community support piece, we're giving a grant to CMMC for their early detection program. It's so important to be screened. If you're in a high risk group, uh, you're 55 to 74 with a 30 pack year history of smoking. And I know that this is a happy day for you, but also an emotional day as a survivor. And these are your friends, these are yes. people who have come out and you've connected with them. Yes, it is very emotional. Um, to see people come out and, and support one another on. on lung cancer because um, the stigma is so strong and lung cancer patients do not get the support and care um, that other cancers might, might, um, might get. Well, I think you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job with this. As you can see, people are already coming in, and they weren't even supposed to get here till 8, but that's right. okay. You're here welcoming them with opening up. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Deb. And if you'd like to come out, there's still time. Throw on some layers, get down here, burn off some of that Halloween candy for can lung cancer research. Norma Katie, back to you. All right, Morgan, sounds good. Thank you. Saw the phone number and the website at the bottom of your screen. Still time to get up there and help support this great cause. Deb's doing such a great job, mm -hmm. and it shows because 15 minutes early, people are already showing up. She is very, very passionate about this, this event here and this cause. So.